Selling stuff with email marketing, we are always trying to make sure that we give every subscriber the best possible route through our funnels, our marketing, and our campaigns. And that's why we created Redirect Hero, to create something so special and impossible to do without it, but really, really simple to implement. This is something you can drop into any of your marketing processes when somebody has opted in for something, when somebody has bought something through an order form, when somebody clicks on a link in an email, so that rather than just taking them to whatever page you're going to take them to, rather than taking everybody to the same page, you can dynamically and uniquely route different subscribers to different pages depending on what tags they've got in their email marketing system, what groups they're in, what custom fields they've got, etc. So when you log into Automate Hero, come up to the big tile that says redirect and click on that. That will take you to a table showing you all of the uh, redirect heroes you currently have, if you have any. And if you don't, just come up here to the top right and click on the create new button. This will bring us to the hero builder for a redirect hero. The first thing you want to do is to give this a name. Again, this is just for your own internal use. So you can call this whatever you like. I'm going to call it redirect demo like so. And then you can give it labels if you want to. You can create new labels if you need to. This is just, again, a really great way for you to sort and filter and distinguish between one hero and the next. Now it's time to build some logic. Now for this example, let's imagine that we have a landing page which gives away our free report click tricks. And then we have our upsell offer, which is the bottomless email strategy course. That's actually a setup that's really running in our business right now. The problem is some people will come along and put their name and email address in for click tricks, but will already have bought the bottomless email strategy. And using normal marketing practices with normal page builders and normal email marketing stuff, we would just have to show them that offer even though they've already bought it. But now we don't have to. So the first thing we're going to do is click, click this green bar to add a new row of logic. And what we're going to look for is we're going to look for customers who haven't bought the bottomless email strategy and who aren't members of the league. Because if you've bought it before or you're a member of the league, we don't want to make you this offer. So all we do is we build some really simple logic. If the tag, and then I'm going to search for the tag that uh, bottomless email strategy customers have, is not present. And then I'm going to add another row of logic here like this and tag league member is also not present, then I want to take people to the sales page that sells them the bottomless email strategy. But we only want to go to that page if these two tags are not present. So that's the first rule of logic set up. Now we can create another one. So I'm going to go and click this green bar again. So now we can set up a different one. Now this time, this is going to be for people who have bought the bottomless email strategy, but have not yet joined the league. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. If the tag DES customer is present and the tag league member is not present, that means they've bought the bottomless email strategy, but they're not yet a member of the league. Well, in that case, we want them to want to take them to a different sales page that instead of offering them the bottomless email strategy, we'll offer them the league. Now, there's one more category of people here, and that is people who've bought the bottomless email strategy and or they're a member of the league. And so I'm going to click the green bar again. And this time we're going to do tag DES dash, dash customer is present. Or and we can change this from an and to an or the tag league member is present. Well, in that case, we don't have anything left to sell them at this point. So we're going to just take them to a flat thank you page that says, great, here's how to get access to the report. And so now what we've done is just by using this really simple logic blocks and building out this logic, which can be as simple or as complicated as you'd like it to be, we can literally say, go and check the person's record and check to see what tags they've got or check to see what custom fields they've got. For example, I can add a new row of logic here that says, if the field, uh, let's go for EM platform, uh, is empty or filled or equal to, for example, active campaign, 
then I might want to take them to a different URL. And again, you can factor that logic in however you like. So this can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. Now, there's one other thing that you need to have here, and that's what we call a fallback URL. This is where you want to send people if for some reason there's a hole in your logic somewhere. If you've missed a route through this and somebody's going to not fall into any of these categories, you've got to choose somewhere to take them. So the safest bet is just to take them to the main sales page for the thing that you would ordinarily sell. So I'll pop that in, in this fallback URL box just like that. Now, the other important thing to know about these logic blocks is that on the left hand side, each one of them has a handle that will allow you to drag them around and change the order. This is really important because when a subscriber comes into this, we will run them through these blocks in the order that they are presented. And therefore, having them in the wrong order might get you a different result to the one that you intended. So as you add more logic blocks, you might realize, oh, actually, this one needs to be further up. This one needs to be further down in the order. Totally fine. You don't have to delete anything and rebuild it. Just grab Grab hold of them, drag them around, and you are good to go. And now this is all set so that when somebody will come to the URL that we're about to send them to in just a moment, instead of going straight to the page, it will run over to our email marketing platform and it will check what tags they've got. It will check what fields they've got and it will take them to the place that I want them to go to. So how do we actually implement this into our marketing? Well, the first thing you want to do is click the save button. And what happens when you click save is that we will generate these two URLs for you. Uh, one of them is a thank you page URL. This is something you would use after an opt-in form or an order form. And the other one is a link URL. This is something you would use in an email when you're going to send out an email to your subscribers. Let's take a quick look at how to implement each of these. Let's begin with the thank you page URL. That's assuming that you want to put this in after, say, an opt-in form. So somebody's going to go ahead and give you their name and their email address, and then you're going to take them to a page. So let's say they're going to opt in for our report click tricks. So we'll copy this URL and I'll head over to Active Campaign where you'll see that I have created a form here asking for their name and their email address. Of course, you can do whatever you want to do with this form. Now, if I come over to the right hand side and click on options, you'll see that we have uh, on submit, we want to take people to a URL. And at the moment, that URL is just a sales page where we would sell our bottomless email strategy course. So what we want to do is we want to delete that URL and we want to replace it with the URL that was in that box. Now, Active Campaign doesn't have at the moment a tick box option to pass the email address from the form onto the next page. And we do need to make sure that we do that. So the way that we do that is simply by adding to the end of that automate hero URL, question mark, email equals, and then the merge field for an email address, which is percentage, capital email, percentage. If you want to make this a little bit easier, here's a little trick for you. If you come back over to Automate Hero and grab this URL instead, this one's already formatted for you. Um, you'll see why we don't include it natively here in just a moment. So I'll come over here, pop it into this URL like that, and that's done. You can go ahead, continue on, save that, integrate it into your website, and this will work beautifully. Now, that's if you're using an active campaign form and you're going to be styling that nicely so it looks good on your website. The alternative to that, of course, is that you might be using some kind of page builder. So we build all of our pages in this fabulous platform, which is called Convertory. There are lots of others. There's ClickFunnels. There are lots of WordPress based ones. And so in those circumstances, you might be building a really nice looking form in the platform and then sending your subscribers over to Active Campaign via the API. If you're doing that, then most of these platforms do have the facility to send the email address from the form to the next page. So for example, inside Convertry, that's done by selecting a field and then coming over and clicking the pass on URL parameters option here. If that was the case, then all we would do is we would grab this naked URL here from uh, Automate Hero, which doesn't have that blurb on the end of it. And then we would go ahead and paste it into the thank you page and it would automatically pass on the URL parameters. So what you want to make sure is that active campaign or your page building platform, one of the two, wherever you build your form, is going to pass the email address onto the thank you page. Without that, this won't function because Automate Hero won't know which subscriber we're talking about and therefore it won't know what to do with those subscribers. So that's really very, very important. Once you've done it, you can go ahead, save the page, publish it, and it's all good to go. Okay, so I have built the Automate Hero redirect logic. I have taken that magic URL and I have put it into a web form. And now I've 
publish that on this landing page so we can go ahead and test this. Now, I've also put three test contacts into the email marketing platform and each of them will go down a different route based on the tags that they've got. So remember, if they've got some tags, they'll be taken to the page that sells the bottomless email strategy. If they've got different tags, they'll be taken to the page that sells the league. And if they've got different tags still, they'll be taken to a flat thank you page that just says thanks and tells them how to get access to the download. So let's give this a go. I'm on the same landing page. I'm going to go ahead and put the first email address in, and this should go to a page that will sell the bottomless email strategy. So let's see what happens. I'll hit the get free access button. And as you can see, it processes the order form and super quick. It's already gone off to the email marketing platform, figured out what tags I've got, come back. And now here I am on a page that sells the bottomless email strategy. Now, if I go back to the previous page and just change that email address from test one to test two, I'm going to hit the free access button again. And this time it's going to go through again so fast people won't know anything special is happening. But it's gone off and you can see this time it's brought me to a different page. Looks very similar. Uh, but this time it's set a video that sells the league. And I'm going to go back one more time and I'm going to change that email address to be test three, which is the person who will just go to a flat thank you page. Again, I'm going to hit the get access button. We just wait a couple of seconds. It loads through and there we go. It's taken to a flat thank you page that tells them how, how to get access to the uh, freebie. How cool is that? You can see how fast it actually goes off, runs off, does the logic and takes them to the page they need to land on. It's kind of like real magic. Now, there is one more use case to discuss, and that is what if you don't want to use this when somebody opts in or buys something, but instead you just want to use it directly in an email when you send an email to your subscribers? But if I head over back over to Automate Hero, you'll see that's what this second link is for. The second link is something that you can just put directly into an email. You'll see that it's already got the email field merged onto the end of it for your email marketing platform. And so what that means is that you write an email like you ordinarily would. You select a piece of text or, a, or an, an image or something like you normally would or a button and you just copy and paste this url into that email and make that the link and literally what happens is that contact will go straight off to the magic page that figures out where they need to be and will instantly be forwarded on uh, so fast they won't even really notice that it's happening and so that is so simple to use just you know link li put a link in an email like you ordinarily would uh, except make it to this url instead and that will make all of that magic happen so as you can see, it's super easy to put together. It's super easy to implement. Go and give it a try. You can use this after any opt-in form, after any order form, or any click of any link ever anywhere in your system to make sure that all of your subscribers only see the stuff that you want them to see. Can't wait to see what you do with it.